before that even to the story behind one of the most famous anthems from the Mersey Beat era. The sound of the 60s was all about Liverpool. The Mersey Beat was topping the charts in the UK and in the States. But it wasn't just about the Beatles. In 1963, one band was set to make history, topping the charts with their first three releases, How Do You Do It, I Like It, and You'll Never Walk Alone. The band was Jerry and the Pacemakers, and the following year they released a song that would become the anthem of Merseyside. So ferry, cross the Mersey, cause this land. The, the writer of the song was lead singer Jerry Marsden. It was to be the title track of a film, The Idea of the Pacemaker's Manager. His name was Brian Epstein, and his other band was the Beatles, and they just made a hard day's night. And uh, Brian said, Jerry, we'll get a film for you. I said, oh, don't be daft. He said, no, no. And uh, he came up with the book, Freddy Cross the Mersey, written by Tony Warren who did Coronation Street. And he said, have a look at that and see if you can write some songs. In those days, we didn't have the video for records and we couldn't travel to Australia and the States all in one week, so you could send them out as a film. So, Jerry, this is like your ferry, really, isn't it? Now? Yes, it is. <laughs> it's so long since I've been here. Three days, actually. <laughs> the pressure was to try and do a title song for the film that captured Liverpool, Liverpool people and the ferries. That was the hard part. Then one night taking my girlfriend Pauline out for dinner, I heard on my head, doo doo, doo doo, doo doo. That's the ferries. So I stopped the car, jumped out, ran to the telephone box, rung my mother, <laughs> said, Ma'am, quick, go and get me tape machine and plug, play and record. You are kidding. No, and she said, what? I said, oh, ma'am, come on, I'm going to forget it. I sung it. Down the phone, you still put that, your coins in. Down the phone, not kidding, I was skimped. <laughs> and put them in, finished it quickly, ran to the car and said to my child bride, sorry, kid, I'm taking you home. I've just, in my head, fed across the mersey. I heard this in my head. I thought that's the sound of a fairy, you know. Life. Someday after day Hearts torn in every way The thing that was most important to me People around every corner They seem to smile and say We don't care what your name is, boy We'll never turn you away That's what Liverpool are That's what they were to me And that's why I put it in We'll never turn you away and then I feel happy telling people that's what we do. So ferry, cross the Mersey. The song made it to number eight in the charts in 1965. 24 years later, it reached the number one slot. But in tragic circumstances, the Hillsborough disaster. Jerry re released Ferry as a charity single with some famous friends. I want to help the people who'd lost husbands, kids and they needed money or they needed help. And the only way I could think of doing it was by putting a record out and all the proceeds going to the fund. And uh, thank God Paul McCartney helped me, Holly Johnson, God bless him, and the Christians. For Gary Christian, it was a chance to reinterpret a childhood classic. And is this a song that you'd grown up with? Yeah, I mean, it's an iconic uh, Liverpool song, you know. Fairy. Uh, you know, the way the... <laughs> The way the kids sing it, you know, it's like, Ferry, cross the mazy, yeah. is this play? Well, when I was doing my bit, you know, in the song, I was trying to put a bit of soul into it. You know. so ferry, it's exactly 50 years since Jerry wrote the song, and along with the ferry, there is little sign that either is going out of fashion. Ah, oh, thanks, Carrie. Lovely film. Yeah, well done, Jerry.